Hey guys! Okay, so today I just got my Moodstruck One Step Epic Mascara. And I cannot wait to try this. So this is the first time I'm using it. I haven't tried it yet. I didn't use it beforehand and do the video. Um, so this is a first time use. So let's see what kind of results we get with it, okay? Alright, so I already got my eyelashes curled. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go and we'll see what happens. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's gonna get a little messy. I tend to get a little messy when I do my mascara just because I like a really big, bold lash, so. That's okay. Ooh, look at that length and volume. Look at that. So this side has nothing. This is the Epic. That's one coat so far. Kind of focus on the tips of your lashes just to kind of get you a little bit more length there. Um, that'll kind of help with that. So that's one coat. Look at that difference. That's crazy. Wow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this makes a really good base for um, the two-step fiber mascara because um, I usually tend to do just a regular layer of mascara beforehand just to kind of separate the lashes and then I'll go over it with the hair fibers and the mascara just to kind of get that really big full look so this will make a really good like first base for that. Alright, so this tends to be my problem eyelashes, so we'll see how it works on this side. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Look at that, you guys. That's awesome. So this product is not available to the public yet. Um, it will be available on August 1st for you guys, so you guys can get your hands on it as well too. Um, I am starting a pre-order list, so if you guys want to get your hands on that, this One Step Mascara, the Epic, um, let me know it retails for $24, which that's not bad at all. I have some other mascaras I get from like Ulta and stuff they're like 40 bucks and stuff like that and they don't work this good so loving this so far bam look at that that's beautiful I love it so today I'll do um, just this as a test and kind of see how it works out in the humidity and the heat. We've had a lot of rain lately here in the desert, so it's ten. It's a little bit hot right now. So I'll do a test today, kind of see how it lasts and how it holds up throughout the day. Um, and then we'll, I'll put up, post a picture for you guys in a little later. So I'm going to go through and do coat number two. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. It's not super clumpy. Um, I have another one. Let me see where it's at. I've got a 
but the Smashbox full exposure. Um, this is, it's all right. Um, it's a waterproof one, which I, was really important for me to find. Um, but it gets super clunky, which I really don't like that. I like a more kind of fine. I'll usually take like a brush and brush through it. So it kind of get that more, that even length. Um, so that's kind of the look that I tend to go for. This really isn't clumpy at all. But it's definitely giving me that volume and length that I tend to look for in a mascara. Bam, look at that. That's two coats there. That's amazing. I love that. Alright, I'll just take it and kind of clean it up a little bit. Bam, look at that. I'll do a before and after for you guys too. Um, but that was the new Unique Moodstruck Epic Mascara. Really nice brush on that too. So it kind of helps kind of comb your eyelashes a little bit, which is nice. So that was my first use on that. Um, let me know what you guys think and drop me a comment below or a thumbs up. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day.